Antonio Cesaro, otherwise known as Cesaro, has been killing it lately. Let's let's be real. Cesaro has been doing a fantastic job. Ever since Tyson Kidd got injured, Cesaro's been getting this push. And it's weird to me because the guy has one of the worst theme songs in WWE slash WWF history. Slash WWF history. I don't think there even were theme songs back then. But his theme song so bad. As a, as a face, how are you supposed to cheer someone with that theme song? Regardless, they cheer him anyway. He's coming out. There's a ton of Cesaro section signs everywhere. He's come up with a new catchphrase where he goes on and on and on and on. And, and the crowd loves it. The crowd eats it up. It's a lot like the what chant. It's a lot like the yes chant. It's something that allows the crowd to interact and chant along. And his matches have been fantastic obviously Cesaro one of the greatest workers in the company uh, one of the greatest talents one of the strongest guys one of the most agile guys but the question is can Cesaro take this push and make it relevant because Cesaro has been given many pushes before uh, he's won the Andre Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal went nowhere he has won uh, he didn't win it. He, he, he had Paul Heyman and his manager. Didn't go anywhere. Uh, he, did, he was part of the Real Americans. Didn't go anywhere. He was, it, I mean, now he's part of um, the Tyson Kidd Cesaro tag team. And he won, they won the championship, but then they took it off him. So the question is, can Cesaro take this push and become a champion of some sort and, and become credible as a face in the company and really make a difference that is yet to be seen it, it's mainly uh due to the booking as well because i think cesaro is very over but uh we'll see going forth